Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and whatever time of day may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and I'm here with a update for the fall of 2024, which will carry us into the... basically to the end of the year. Uh, oh, come on, please work. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying out uh, something new today with the, uh, the sound. Well, in terms of, well, the music anyways, and my microphone. I've got them on two separate channels. So I can't actually hear the music because I have it playing off my headphones and I don't want to put those on. And in post, I'll hopefully be able to edit everything to make it so that all, instead of me going back through and go, okay, uh, this track needs to come down a little bit, this one needs to come up a little bit, or just having it set, it makes it easier so I could do all that in post. Anyways, i uh, got a few topics on the mind today to cover. Quite a few of them, actually. We'll start with December dailies, because I am making a few more changes to that. I'm taking a realistic approach to what I had originally had, and i got to scale back a little bit. Originally, I was going to do 31 episode, 31 different episodes, each of them 100 days in RimWorld, but it's proven to take in more time than I initially thought. On top of that, not all the mods are that I want to have in and want to be going through it are out yet, so ultimately, I, I think I gotta change that up. And on top of that, I've got a couple of mini-series I want to try and add into there, which is obviously going to take time. So, here is what I got planned and in the works. We'll review a little bit more of what I'm... Well, actually in here I think it states what I got, so... Anyways, uh, RimWorld 100 Days Band of Legends, which is a... It's, I know it's in 100 days, but there might only be a couple of episodes since I already have the first 100 days done. It was surprisingly very easy considering what the what I started with. So, might have a couple of those ready to go depending on how much I record and edit. So far I've got one fully recorded or mostly recorded. I just need to put it, piece it all together. I got Minecraft 100 Days Engineer's Life, 100 Days 1.20.1 modded series. I'll talk a little bit more of that a bit later. And a long play. All of it's been recorded, two of them just needs to be edited down, and the uh, and one of them is completed, that being the long play. That's pretty much was the easiest one to do, thanks to how I broke it up. I got a Skyrim 100 Days Deathless, where I can't die, it's on legendary difficulty, survival, and quote-unquote vanilla plus creation club stuff. We'll get to that. All these, I'll get to details a little bit later. <coughs> me. Uh, finish up on some of the past December daily stuff that I apparently never completed. My bad on that. I was going through some of my footage. Most of them I do actually have the footage for. I just never uploaded it. And a couple of them I never bothered to finish. So I'm going to get some of that finished and placed in there. I've got Rise of Nations, the specifically the Alexander campaign, the Cold War campaign, and one in a one-shot video where I conquer the world. All of it is recorded, I just need to edit it down. Prison Architects, the legendary prison. It's basically a month-long prison before we survive an hour on, on all legendary prisoners. I'm officially halfway through that, which is quite exciting. And I'm quite happy to say that I only need to do it in half an hour chunks instead of hour chunks, thanks to the planning I did at the very beginning. I might also have some more series, one, maybe two, if time permits. Zardaeus is likely to be that that one game that, if time permits, for me to be able to do that. Not quite sure at this point, since... Well, we'll get to that a bit later. Then I got Stardew Valley. I'm closer to beating that. I'm hoping to get closer to beating the game with 100% completion. Star Sector, that game's going to be finished off within the month. And if need be, and, it's, and it finishes before the month ends, I'll take one of the on hold series and get that going. Though with the amount of preparation I've done for that game, it's probably likely that, that that's going to be a reality. 
And then we got Starcraft Mass Recall, gonna finish within the month, Civilization 4, I'm going, I'm possibly going to be going for the win, kind of depends on the AI. Pal World, assuming I have time for this, which I think I might have time for it if I don't do Stardeus. Uh, Rimworld series, both Ascensions to the Stars, if time permits, and starting up a new series. And that new series I have all the footage ready to go for. Uh, possibly the roaming series that we have on the go, more than likely in Minecraft, to try and get the first season, more info on that later, completed. And possibly some of the games I have on hold, if time permits, which includes a secret series. And that secret series, I've actually been working quite a bit because I was inspired to do so. I'm not going to say what it is, but fans of the channel would probably, or longtime fans of the channel, probably will enjoy it. Note, some of the... Oh, I, I guess I added that line in afterwards. Uh, some of the... He's are either done or already in the works. I've recorded almost everything for the normal series to last up until then because, it, well... When, you're, when you've been relieved of work for the summer because they didn't have enough to keep you around and you've been tr struggling to try to find a new job, you kind of have a lot of time on your hands. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's not fun. Well, it is and it isn't. Time off has been nice, but I am long since ready to get back to working. Which is why a lot of these are in the possibility category. Because it kind of depends if I can get a job before the end of the year. Ah, let's not talk about real life anymore. That's just... Well, real, you're not here for real life. You're here for some fun. Alright, the current series that we have on the go, RimWorld. Ascension to the Stars is going well. As of what I've got recorded, I have a solid foundation to get the family only with potential spouses only joining once the child is of proper age in the game. Just needs some more specific structures that I got in mind before I'm finished with the early game. I'm hoping by this year's end, real life year's end, not RimWorld year's end, I'm either going to have that started anomaly portion, sorry, the anomaly portion, or made significant progress towards our ship research. Either or, excuse me. Either or will be fantastic, because I could really use that. I need a lot of progress made in that series. Stardew Valley, 1.6 is proven to be quite the add-on for my goal, a little more than I had initially expected. Still trying to make progress on Ginger Island slash Fern Island slash Volcano Island, but I'm making some decent work on it. I think uh, what I got released lately, I've finally unlocked what I think is the final character. Or, we, I could... I, let me try that again. I've discovered the final character that you can in-game, or final human, and that being Professor Snail on Ginger Island. I don't know if there's anyone else, but... I've made that I've found him and been able to dig up some fossils and I'm hoping that will lead us into finding the final fossils that we need. I also have a miniature long play for this series in the works for to get the Joja Mart achievement and that will be released once I've finished that ideally in December at some point. I've done some work on it, not a whole lot of work on it, but my goal is, it's basically, it should hopefully take me one in-game year in order to get to, to get all the Joja Mart stuff done. And if I play correctly, which I have a rough idea what I need to do, basically starts with get a bunch of strawberries, a bunch of strawberry seeds, then I can use that to get strawberries, sell that for a lot of money, transition over into melons in the summertime, and eventually pumpkins in the fall time. Hopefully all the gold I'm making from that will equal enough to be able to unlock everything in the winter time with some extra mining and selling of a bunch of stuff, because I don't really need a whole lot. Uh, and I need to make sure I get a bunch of sprinklers going because I am not uh, I don't want to water everything anyways uh, this the game likely is going to be continuing into the new year I didn't mention that for RimWorld but that game also is 100% continuing into the new year 
Though Stardew Valley, I'm hoping, won't go for another real world year. I'm thinking I could probably get that finished up depending on the progress I make in mid-year. I'm hoping that by the end of, I think I'm on year four or year three in Stardew Valley. Regardless, by the time I'm at the end of that year, I'll have my entire farm set up to where I only need to place seeds and then I'm good to go. Don't have to worry about any. The only thing I would really have to worry about is the animals. Still can't find. I still don't know if there's anything in game that will let me just automatically pet them, which would help me out drastically. But basically, with the vegetable, with the not vegetables, no vegetables, fruit, but with all the crops automated, and the only thing I really need to worry about is the animals. Should uh, should allow me to spend a lot more time on the island and eventually finish everything there since I think we got almost everything done on the mainland. Just need to get some friend a bunch of friendship points and we're good to go. And StarCraft Mass Recall. Nothing to say here. Nothing much anyways. Making good progress. I'll be finished in December without question. Currently I have the end of the stand campaign done and at some point soon I'm going to just get the rest of it finished so that way don't need to worry about it at all. Uh, current series of Power World, I'm starting to expand into new territory, for me at least, and I'm almost ready to take on the second boss tower, at least in my opinion. I'm just waiting for another level to get a upgrade to my weapon. I think I'm also getting an upgrade to my armor too, and then I will go for uh, I'll go for the boss. During December, I'm hoping to have at least two more areas explored, being the last... There are two areas or three areas? I think there's three areas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's three more areas from what was initially released, and then one more added in with the big update that came out a while ago. Uh, but ideally, I'm going to have at least two more areas done, and all the Alpha Pals charted and hopefully captured in those areas. Uh, specifically the Volcano Island and this desert slash Badlands Island that I discovered while trying to find the settlement with a Free Pal Alliance, which I still can't find and I refuse to use the wiki to find it because that's no fun. And possibly defeat the first boss pal that was added in, a uh, Bellinora, Bellro, or something along those lines, uh, if we can. From what I've seen, we need to be, a, I think, level, we had to be at least level 30 in order to build the altar. I'm still two tablets short of being able to summon her, but I'm hoping to be able to find those within December, and then we can choose an area and defeat her. I'll keep playing this game until there's nothing new as of that as of the final video. And I have a well, a perfect base for me. Or as close to perfect as I can. I'll return to this game whenever there's a new update. Once I finish with all the content available at that time. So this game isn't going away forever, it's just a new update comes out, then I'll come back to it and get recording. Kind of similar to what No Man's Sky is going to be as well. Civilization 4. Ah, this series just does not seem to end. Still recording it in the background whenever I work out. It's been a bit shaky as of late. Well, it was shaky as of late. I've since gotten back into working out a lot more free, well, and more scheduled because I was a little very, uh, I was a little saddened and when I lost, when I let go and trying to find a job has been kind of depressing. I'm trying a new approach and in it trying to hopefully do something new and should hopefully get me a job a lot quicker and hopefully I'll be able to advance a lot more in that area. But I'm getting back into a schedule which is good and that means that this game is getting recorded whenever I'm just taking a rest. That being said, I'm pretty sure the remainder of the series won't be as exciting as it may have previously been. And mainly because I control every other civilization with the occasional 
rebel that crops up. And the, the way I have to capture all my cities is through crime. So, uh, we'll get into issues with that method in a future episode. Uh, I also have don't really have anything threatening. I can't go to space since I'm not, I don't think I'm on a map that lets me do that. And all I really have to showcase are technology gains, great people coming into our empire, and interesting moments. Really, not a whole lot. So I'm unsure if this game will be getting a December daily series, as I think soon I'm going to be struggling to even get an episode per week. But I'll have to let future me decide that course. I'm hoping a yes, because I believe I can have that game finished in December should I go for it. Might require me to spend a couple of days just bulk recording. As in, I just sit down, record Civilization, edit a bunch of videos in the background, and then basically play Civilization when I'm waiting between turns, edit videos. I get, bun I get a bunch of that done, I get a bunch of this content made up, and I have more to go with. I definitely have, I got a definitive victory condition though. And that is to capture the rest of the world and personally control it, not through vassals. Not through vassals. At that point, if it, the game does not give me the win, I'm going to declare myself the victor at that point. Because what else is there to do? There's research the tech tree, and there is a very, and I added this caveat in there, very, very slight chance I'll try to research everything. And... Yeah, that that's only if I can basically rapid fire technology every single every turn or every other turn. So, yeah, there's a very slight chance I'd go for that. I'd have to see once I have the entire world built up or slowly built or slowly building up if I can do that. But for the most part, definitively I win after I conquer the world and control every bit of land. Star Sector, in terms of the entire series, I have believe, I believe we've reached the climactic point by now. And why do I think that? Well, the Lego Infernus, the Hegemony, which has yet to actually be released, but there's kind of no spoilers in that since I'm already going for them. And the Iron Shell are all gone. And we're the most powerful faction in the Sector. Unless I try to actively lose ships, I think my fleet is at maximum power. At maximum power is almost unkillable. And I haven't even fully buffed and tuned everything in my fleet just yet. I can still crank a lot more out. And oh boy, you guys are going to be excited to see what I've got. Most of my goals have already been met as well, and all I need to do is capture all the capital planets settle and fix the most hazardous planet by traits, so that being an exotic uh, world. I forget what it's called. I actually forget what system it's in as well, but there's not met too many people left. In that. I think there's only the, the neutral and the pirates at this point left in that system, but I'm going to be inhabiting it nonetheless and then fixing it and then having it slowly fix up as we continue our war campaign. Uh, I gotta tame the, the remnant mesh ships which I have actually finally found them. Well I've long since found them and I'm now farming them and destroy the ninth battle group. Only then will I, will I have completed everything I want to and consider the series done. Based on my plan and a lot of off-camera work, just to build up the infrastructures on my planets, credit pool, and ships for my special task forces, as well as my personal fleet, I'll be finished the game with it during December dailies. And if I happen to finish earlier in the month, I'll have uh, another series takeover, uh, just temporary takeover. It won't be a permanent addition to what we have going on, but it'll be... It will at least pad out the rest of the month. And Oblivion. Still ongoing, despite not putting as much time into the series. 
currently planning on the best way to complete the mages, fighters, and thieves guild in terms of routing everywhere. Because uh, traveling to and from cities is taking a lot of time, but as of this point, I have Mages Guild is one quest away from the, from the grand finale. Fighters Guild, we're on the final arc, and that won't take too much time, and I think that's going to be what I focus on next for the for a little bit. And the Thieves Guild, I want to make sure that I'm it, what, depending on the city that uh, that the Grey Fox is going to spawn in, or the Grey Fox will have a quest for us in, is where I want to ultimately go and figure out a reason to go there. I think uh, the first one is Bruma. I don't know if we bought all the furniture up there. I could check, but I'm not going to because it's a reason for me to go up there to wait and then let the and then get the that part going. Uh, I focused a bit too much on getting my hey, other series done to last until December, so I can start on the December only series, and that kind of neglected Oblivion. Still is a bit neglected to a degree because I, well, I need to get an episode ready to go today for it. And while this series is more than likely won't be a part of December dailies, it's not abandoned at all. Though, that being said, I am hoping to have this wrapped up sometime next year. Ideally, uh, before next December. Um, Minecraft Epoch Era? Most of what you're seeing I've already recorded well in advance, so any suggestions and things to point out likely won't take place for a long time. And I've decided I'm going to break this series into seasons depicted by major goals. For instance, this series is all about getting our base and factory started before I do a ton of off-camera resource gathering through excavators and pump jacks. And that way, I don't have to wait ages and ages just to get a bunch, uh, just to get resources. Most of it will already be ready to go, and I can just go ahead and get to the more interesting stuff instead of grinding for resources. This might get a December Daily series, we'll see on that. I do have the episode count to make at least a half the month currently though, so if time permits, I can get the other half done. And I likely am going to because I'm kind of getting that Minecraft itch. So I'm probably going, once I'm done with Prison Architect, I might end up just going to Epoch Era. Dean Co-op series, all the footage for Warcraft 3 is edited, ready to go. And I got a few more weeks left of that before the series is complete. The next game is Orcs Must Die 3, which I have most, if not all, the footage ready to go. Just needs to be edited down. Not sure what the next thing afterwards. I think Dean and I were gonna do a Warcraft 3 custom campaign. I'd have to double check. I got my eyes on possibly doing a co-op campaign for Starcraft and Brood War. And I, if it goes on sale, I'll be picking up Baldur's Gate 3, because I know Dean really likes that. Possibly Divin uh, Divinity? Divinity? I think it's Divinity 2, one of, one of those games. I'd be possibly picking up that as well, and we'd get to a lot with those games. Current series, well, soon to be current series, No Man's Sky. I'm getting this ready, getting this one ready to go. My goal for this series is to explore everything on the major stories and mechanics of the game, all on permadeath. Series will end once we've reached the center of the universe, which will get me hopefully the final achievement on Steam, since I'm three achievements away from finishing that. I've got one where I have to reach the center of the center of the gal sorry, not galaxy, center of the universe in survival, and one for permadeath. As well as another one to get a title. It's a for animals. That one will be pretty easy and I'll be going for that. My hope is that if I get to the center of the galaxy on permadeath, it will also give me the achievement for survival, since permadeath is harder than survival. And if not, I'm just going to quickly do that off camera before the final episode airs. I'll be getting this started up in December dailies. It might not be a part of December dailies, though. We'll see. And plan series... Battle Nations and Block Fortress since it is now the end of the summer months and I have not seen either, either of the game. And I'm going to be talking about the two of them together since they're both going to be having series uploaded on the same days. 
I'm still waiting for them to be playable. Not Neither of them are released, though I'm hoping Battle Nations will come out any day now. It's looking probably less and less likely that it's going to come out before summer is officially over and probably sometime in fall. Uh, once they're out, I'll get recording and uploading them as soon as I can because these are more of a passion project for me. Long play in a hundred days. They're at 25 minutes. This is going to be a long, this is a long update. But I got a few in the works and a couple of them done ready to go as I've showcased with the December daily stuff. And while I have a list of games I got planned, I'm kind of curious as to see what you guys would want to have come out first. I got a plan for a bunch of these in the future. And that one, those were added in after the fact, so it did not get that. Uh, order of what I would like to work, what I'd like to work on before any comment feedback. Uh, Minecraft 1.21 long play series since 1.21 is out and the long play series I started on was in 120. So now it makes or was it started in 120 or 21? I'm not sure, but regardless, I've got five videos of four or five videos of those planned out. The first one is just us getting to the point where we can defeat the Ender Dragon. The second one, I had wanted to kind of explore all settlements, or quote-unquote settlements, so uh, your bastions, your nether fortress, even if I've already done it in the first one, uh, your, the villages, and different, and each of the different types of villages that can spawn in, outposts, pillager outposts, the pillager mansion, ocean monument, dark, or dark city, no, Skulk City, the fu whatever that city is underneath in the Skulk biome. Uh, that, and basically any, uh, any other settlement, I'd go and explore. It likely would also do raids, and might also complete, it might also beat the Wither and a couple of the other bosses, I'm not sure. But the point is, it's a lot of settlement-based exploration. Uh, the third would be I would like to try and gather up all of the armor trims in the game. I'm not sure if I would necessarily try and build one of every single armor. That is, uh, uh, that is crazy. Or sorry, get one of every variety of armor sets. That is, uh, yeah, that, that's a no. Probably not going to do that, though. We'll see if my sanity decides to, decides that it's willing to go through that. And potentially go for most, if not all, of the achievements in-game. And then the final one would be, well, either a continuation of that, or it would... Oh, sorry, not the final one. The fourth, if, if I'm going for a series of five, would be the continuation of that, if I kind of go on for too long. And then the final would be building up the rest of the base and making it the way I wanted to, because I got a really cool idea for the basement portion of it. Anyways, I've yambled on long enough. Uh, RimWorld 100 days based on starting scenarios for both vanilla and modded, or a handful of modded ones. Minecraft Engineer's Life. Uh, I've got, no, nope, I've got the footage done for the first 100 days. I'd like to ideally finish that mod pack up, so probably Three, four hundred days, so three more, three, two to three more episodes, or not a, two or three more videos in that mini series. Uh, a 121, I'm sorry, a 120.1 100 days series. I got, basically, I'm repeating a lot of that. First four items were repeating a lot of what I got already. On to the new stuff is Dragon Age Origins. The lo a long play, I've gotten past the origin part. And that's kind of where it stands at the moment. Starcraft Long Play, starting... This will start after December dailies are done. Each campaign will be its own long play. So basically, the entire Starcraft series. So you got First Step Rebels Yell, Overmine, The Fall, The Stand, the... Uh... Oh, crud, what's the fifth one called? I forgot what the fifth one called, and then Queen of Blades is the last one. And it would be going on to Starcraft 2 campaigns. 
Uh, Graveyard Keeper and Stardew Valley 100 Days. They'll I'll begin once those once the Stardew Valley series is finished and ideally uploading them both at the same time. Monster Hunter World slash Iceborne Long Play. Pal World 100 Days once that series is... I've gotten everything done in that. Project Zomboid 100 Days. Warcraft 3 Long Play. Civilization Beyond the Sword. Unmodded Long Play. Elder Scrolls and Skyrim. Vanilla Long Play. Vanilla Long Play to start. And a modded 100 days later. Kind of tweak that a little bit. And PS2 series Long Plays for games that have already complete. Future... RimWorld 100 Days and Future Minecraft 100 Days. And, of course, that list keeps going with every see every game I finish. Future plans. Because I'm not done with that. I got a ton of stuff I'd like to get to, and honestly, I could use some opinions on. Most of the games mentioned here are meant to be going on for the next few years. I'm not trying to get them all done next year. That is impossible in terms of timing, even if I... Even if I had the miraculous ability to never have to sleep, never have to eat. But sadly, those are technologies all on the Rim world. Nothing actually in real life. So StarCraft 2 and Warcraft 3, I've mentioned this previously. No, maybe not in this episode, but... Not episode, sorry. Update. I'm a little tired today. I've been wanting to do a Let's Play of the normal Warcraft 3 re... Yeah, that's a bad joke. I'm not sure why I put that in there. I always like calling it refunded, because... Well... Yeah. And custom campaigns in both the games. Maybe also the original StarCraft as well. Uh, I would want to do real scale for StarCraft 2, and I've yet to pick out a custom campaign for Warcraft 3, but that will come after the base game. Open to suggestions on those as well. I want to alternate them once Mass Recall is completed, starting with the Warcraft 3 campaign, and then all of Real Scale, and finally Warcraft 3 afterwards. Then maybe Starcraft, a custom campaign after that. Basically, because you know, people tend to like Warcraft 3 and Starcraft. Especially the uh, Mass Recall. Gosh, uh, that tutorial video alone, is, even though it's a little uh, mucky, because of the quality, the video quality, people still really liked watching it, like going on it, and well, it did really well. Uh, I've been working on a RimWorld universe kind of uh, series of uh, series for some time, and I've been wanting to do it uh, this for a very long time. To sum it up, it's basically several series and mini-series slash one-off episodes all coming together in one final series, heavily modded, and all tied together by a story. Still working on some of the smaller details, but I think I have most of it planned out. Here's what I got so far. It's a lot. There's, I think, 22? Currently? Nope, sorry, 21. My bad. As you can see by the titles of all of those, as well as what status they are, you see that I have a few unknown series, and one of them is also Megacorps that are bolded. We'll get to those a little bit later. And of course, the very final one, we'll reveal that much later when I'm ready for it. Here's what I got for the first five series. You might already know two, one of them, Ascension to the Stars, where a family builds a ship and travels the stars. It's going to be ending with both the Anomaly and Save Our Ships 2 endings finished. And the Save Our Ships 2 ending is actually what the, the ending would be, rather than the modified vanilla ending where you just travel to a different planet. We'll be going for the ending of that. Curse of the Dark Machine. Nope, sorry, that should be Curse of the Fallen God. I've long since changed the title, and I don't know why I didn't change it here is a crew of pirates cursed by an unknown entity. Pirates seek an end to the curse and seek out a new life outside of pirating everyone. This will be ending with both Anomaly and Vanilla Royalty endings. And the Anomaly for both of those will end in separate paths. So Ascension to the Stars will end with us siding with the Dark, with the Dark Architect. And Curse of the Dark Machine, Curse of the Fallen God, essentially because they're trying to end the curse, means they're going to be breaking the 
dark architects hold on the planet. Well, really, the universe. But I'll get to that story details later. Anyways, birth of a civilization, playing through as vanilla fa through vanilla faction ex expanded tribals, and that will be ending once we have researched the base game of the tribal starting scenario. So once we got all those technologies, then that'll be basically the end. And we got Republics Unite. Pretty simple. Unite the Republics. Ends with the Republics United and the elimination of some of the tribal factions that I'll have on the map. Those, All those you'll see much later. And then Attack of the Void. Under control of the Void, destroy all factions slash assimilate all factions on the planet. You can kind of guess what the ending of that one is. Basically, Void controls the entire planet. While I have most of the series ideas selected and planned, there's a few spots that I don't really have anything, as you saw with the bolded stuff. I have two unknown series that I don't know what I want to do with them, as well as Megacorp. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that one either. I know that Megacorp's going to be... Vanilla Factions Expanded Megacorp's going to be a big factor in that, but I don't exactly know how it's going to play out. I also want to see some input for view from the viewers. Just because I only have technically three, but really two slots open doesn't mean I'm limiting it to just three. If, if I like the ideas, I could all, there could always be more series slash mini-series. And if you got any success, suggestions for themes I can run with, excluding Medieval, since I already have that planned in the lineup, and a very ambitious one planned in the lineup, let me know in the comments. And just as a side note, I'm fully expecting that the game will... It will more than likely receive a couple of major updates and DLCs between now and when I'm ready to plan the final RimWorld series in the list and hopefully my greatest creation for RimWorld. My magnum opus. It's a very ambitious idea, but we'll reveal that much, much later. Minecraft 100 Days series. I've been wanting to do a 100 Days in Modern Minecraft series for a while. And finally, I'm working on bringing that to a reality. The idea is going to be themed around food and automatic production through Create, because I like food and I wanted to learn Create. This is kind of a spiritual successor, successor to the cooking craft video I had made a while ago, since I ended up dying uh, 50 days in when I attempted to, to take on a lightning dragon, thinking I could. Spoilers, I could not. So, yeah. I plan on making several of these videos, eventually ending with either we have a thriving factory complex alongside a town slash city-like settlement around the land, or we die. I've actually got themes or kind of styles I want to build with these, so the complex is going to be its own style, kind of a big factory industrial era kind of factory with the creates I think create was described to be a bit steampunk like anyways the land that land will be uh, one bit will be that kind of build and then the town slash city settlements is gonna I've kind of decided I think I'm going to do a solar punk style for that so, if you got any suggestions I'd be more than willing to hear them, too. Moving on to RimWorld Massive Series. Now, what exactly do I mean by that? Well, it's because I think these ta these are going to take a very long time to see to completion, and they aren't taking place in the RimWorld universe storyline that I've got planned. Two in question is Vanilla Expanded 2 and City Builders 2. A while ago, I was making a series... I had made a series with many mods named Vanilla Expanded as... It mainly pertained around vanilla expanded mods, as well as some other mods that I thought fit that theme, like expanded materials, and uh, there was a couple others, some minor tweaks here and there. And I had to end it due to an unfortunate crash, because it was between switching versions, but I think it's a series that people might be interested in seeing a revival of. Some of the views that I've seen on my channel do kind of back that up. And, yeah, I figured, worthwhile getting it getting it going again at some point. 
No idea what the end goal would be, probably planetary domination and some of the endings, but I'm open to su some suggestions. And City Builders had started off in the previous version of Brimworld, and I had to end it early as I didn't want to have it make it the same uh, repeat that Vanilla Expanded series did. But we were able to create a series of primary... I, I'm not sure what I mean from that. Uh, the goal, the, the essential gist of the series is we salvage a bunch of cities and places on the map in order to create a new city as well as goods and, you know, just, just a bunch of, I really don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, point is we would end up making a city off of the remnants of other cities and bases and the like, and... We just started on a brand new map, make up a bunch of businesses, eventually have some outposts, and... Well, the series would end once I think we had a big enough of a city. And it had to be put out because... I didn't want a repeat of what happened with the Null Expanded. But, I think both series would be nice to bring back. I'm waiting for a few mods to be updated slash released, mainly the Exp Expanded Materials series and some vanilla expanded mods before I begin creating and recording footage for it. I'm hoping that by this time next year I'll have started on it. Like an entire year to hopefully get a few mods updated is... Well, I have no control over that, that's the mod maker's decision, but I'm eagerly awaiting for it. <coughs> on to Elder Scrolls. Currently, I'm working on Oblivion, but this panel is mainly to talk about Skyrim since I've been meaning to start it up for a while, then I get inspiration for something else and never start it up. Still going to go through with Skyrim, though at this point it's likely going to be after Oblivion is done. And I've got a massive mod pack in mind for this, and it's going to eat up a ton of space on my computer. So i got to make sure that I finish a bunch of my other games so I can have the room for this. There's also a few massive mods coming out for Skyrim, mainly, uh, um, no, Skywind and Skyblivion are the two that come to mind, but there's also, there's also Beyond, Beyond, the Beyond Skyrim mod series, which I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that we'll get to play in this series. I'm not sure how I'll integrate them in, I'll think of something. I don't know when I'm actually going to record, start recording and uploading, but I do believe it's likely going to be once Oblivion's final episode is in sight, which is, I'll start recording sometime when I'm in the Shivering Isles portion, because the Shivering Isles is what I want to end Oblivion on. I am, however, inspired to make a quick 100 Days series in vanilla Skyrim. I got the idea from watching some 100 Day Skyrim challenges and the fact that it's a game that I only have one achievement in for the special edition. I can't let that stand in my quest to finish all achievements in the games that I own, so I figured it's the first time, perfect time to get started on that. I'll only have two mods enabled, which is achievements. Uh, achievements. Let me try that again. A mod that enables achievements since I don't remember if the Creation Club content, if that was ever patched to where it counts, or it, ca it disables achievements. And then I have a Bard's College Expanded, which is technically a creation item, but I'm, it's still a mod in my opinion, so it's not 100% vanilla, but basically 99% vanilla. Hoping to have it ready for December. Worst case, I end up doing a two-part video, one in December and one sometime afterwards. The kind of cozy type of game. This I'll be discussing Stardew Valley and Gravekeeper. I want to do 100 days on it. Ideally, I'll be working on them at the same time and uploading them close to the same time, if time permits. And there's a game on sale that fits the theme. Wouldn't mind adding a that into the lineup either. And then December dailies 2025. I'm thinking that far ahead because I've got a few ambitious ideas to make that month nice and packed. Most of the most of what I got planned, however, would take a chunk of time and I likely can't work on all of them. So any thoughts or suggestions on that? More than welcome. 
So, idea number one is a carryover from this year. It's RimWorld 100 Days for each vanilla and some modded starting scenarios, primarily from the vanilla expanded mods. Idea two is some PS2 and PS3 long plays on game on... Uh, that doesn't grammatically make sense, but... Ba mainly based off of the Ratchet and Clank series, Jack and Daxter series, Sly Cooper series, which only has three games in it, and you cannot dispute me on that one. Some Sonic games, some Spyro games, and a couple others. All of it on original hardware, so no emulators or... Uh, not if it's got a PS3 or PS4 release. I'm not getting, not that I'm getting a PS4, but if it has one of those, it's not going to be on there. Especially considering Ratchet and Clank series, uh, some of the games that got ported to there, I don't think were the... It could have used a bit more polish. Work, in my opinion. And then a series of different challenges for games I've got in my library slash collection. An example of this would be Dragon Age Origins. I've always thought of doing a challenge where you only have yourself, you only take yourself out around the world. The companions would stay at camp and you can utilize some of their skills. So for instance, if I were to have somebody maxed out in herbalism, I could use them to make potions while I'm at the camp, but I can't actually take them with us. And, uh... It really had, that was really one of the major ideas. Skyrim, a couple of ideas for that one. A couple of, you know, challenges that people have already done. Like, oh, can you beat the game doing this? Can you beat the game doing that? Same with Oblivion. Got to come up with some other challenges. And then, of course, there's always deathless runs of some old games that I've played. But regardless, a lot of it still early in the planning stages. Not quite sure which one I want to go with. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And on to some major changes, the last major topic of this one. So, even though I've reduced the amount I'm trying to do by a bit, I don't think it's quite there just yet. And as seen in previous sections, I've got a lot that I want to do in the next few years, and that's not counting stuff that I didn't mention on there that I probably have forgotten about, but it's on a list somewhere. And occasionally I get inspiration to do another series when I watch a video while editing my videos. And, and, I sometimes come up with something while just thinking about it. Like, uh, there was a time, eating Pal World with only Pals freed from cages, or Pal, or I can only you know, capture one type of Pal, I have to capture all of them, and then I can move on to another one, and I can do a lot of ideas. What am I going to do about it so I can try and bring that sooner? Well, I got a couple ideas, a few ideas, actually which should hopefully keep both my occu- keep my occupy- I don't even- I, my grammar has been terrible, apparently. Uh, hopefully keep me occupied, I think that's what I meant to say. Uh, the channel getting more pair of views slash subscribers and continue to bring, hopefully, good videos for all. It also let me finish up series faster and bring forth new ones, or at least that would be the idea. Also would let me work on some of the long format videos that I wanted to get to. Idea number one. Content reduction. Now, this one is actually going to be happening. Further reducing the amount that I'm doing. Try, gonna try a different approach, and I can't use the words for YouTube, because... Uh, well, YouTube doesn't like firearms, let's just say. But, uh, think of it as a firearm that you could that you can use from long range and hit very precise versus one that's more close range but it scatters everywhere when you shoot uh, I'm kind of trying to try a different approach for a while I've been doing the scattered many as in many videos many series I'd like to try and kind of get more to the precise few while still kind of stay I'd like to be somewhere in between them Ideally, so to reduce the reload, da reduce the load down to five series every other day, one series per Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, with a fifth one going on each of those days, and that fifth series would be based on whatever I happen to be just really into playing. For example, Stardew Valley if I'm close to finishing the series, or Power World if I've almost done everything that there is to do at that point of time. 
just as a couple of examples. I might go, hey, I really want to get this done, so I'm going to record a bunch more of this, and it's now going, I now have a big backlog of footage, so we'll just upload an extra, upload them on those days. Video changes is another idea. It would be somewhat comparable to Civilization 4 Cavemen to Cosmos series, where in that series I'm at the point where I'm only showing technology gains, major city captures, the occasional settlement of a new city, new great people being spawned into our empire, and any <coughs> excuse me, anything else of major of major moments that I find worth sharing. And while it's a, this is kind of unique for the circumstance for that game, the concept could be carried to other series, making episodes more, containing more action, story, to the point where keeping them at the same length. So RimWorld would be a, another good candidate for that, the Starbound Ascension series, or Ascension to the Stars, whatever I got it called. And that one would effectively, I would only show off the events or any interesting tangents I happen to go on. Essentially that would be what I'd be worth sharing, or when I'm generating ideas on what I want to do. It would allow for, you know, it, I'd get them done a bit sooner, you get more out of them. Trying to avoid a lot of like super cuts, because that A, that makes my job a little more difficult, but also, I don't really want to like have it super cut down to like, oh, here's five seconds here, ten seconds there, two seconds here, five, and gee, you get the idea. Uh, in the same vein, I can also increase each series from 30 minutes to an hour long. This would also help to speed up each series and allow me to get more. The only issue with this then be the needing the time needed to record the footage to account for both ideas. So I could account, I could do both, but I would need a lot more time in order to make sure I got what I need in order to upload an episode, so I'm, this might not be one for going to get this probably is going to be a one or the other until I get to a point where I've got more than enough in, the, in advance and can easily do both of those so I'm up for either solution but would like to hear from the viewers so let me know what you'd like to see more you want to see a longer video or do you want to see a more cut video if you will or do you want to see both i imagine there's a couple of series i could probably do both for new channels i can create one maybe two additional channels dedicated to specific video formats to help keep the lists that i have going down one channel would be dedicated to the long videos, like 100 days, long plays, and any other format that would take a long time to record and work on. And the other uploads for essentially entire recording sessions to show off the barely edited sections. But probably only have an intro and outro, and if I were to pause the game for whatever reason and walk away from the keyboard. That idea would only really pertain, that channel would only really work if I was super cutting everything down. So, uh, this channel, the one that would still be the main channel, which would get the most uploads, and would also get previews from the longer format videos. So maybe trailers that I got coming out for those. I got a, for the uh, 100 days in Minecraft, I got a pretty, uh, I'm hoping a pretty interesting concept of a trailer for that, and an intro section for it that I'm working on, so... Yeah, that's another idea. Uh, more major changes. Well, maybe sum up. I'm, I'm interested to hear what in the comments. Any advice, agreements, disagreements? Comment them down below. Note: these changes, if I go through with them, won't take effect right away, as I don't want to end any other series when some are in the middle of their run and others are coming to a close soon. Also, I still have December dailies to plan for, which the past had, in the past. These have already done well, so I'm gonna stick it out until the end. And on to the last topic, schedule update slash December dailies plan. So this is the current schedule. Uh, Rimworld Anomaly was finished, and Starbound Ascension took over for that. We got the roaming series, some of which did end up going through, and a couple of them on there still waiting for the games to be released. Here's what I got in mind for the future schedule. As you can see, 
I got su Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, what I plan on uploading for those days. Still have the roaming series, the mini series that I'd be working on, and they, they wouldn't fall on a day, rather they would take up however much time they would need. Uh, and then the long plays slash 100 days that I've got in the works. Those are subjective to change. If people want to see something come first, then I'd be more than happy to do that. But essentially, Sundays still the RimWorld day. Tuesdays would do would have Stardew Valley and Dean Coat Deep. I, apparently, I spelled Dean wrong. Sorry, Dean. <laughs> uh, that would have Orcs Must Die three until that was done. Then it would take place. I would ha afterwards have. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd suggest Baldur's Gate three or whatever the Warcraft game we, uh, or custom campaign that Dean has scouted out. And for Solo, Warcraft 3 would be there. The co-op is kind of the one that would break the rule, though it might end up going into the roaming series, now that I think about it. Uh, Thursday would be Power World until it ends, as well as No Man's Sky until that ends, and Minecraft Epoch Runner series if I need the time. Anything in yellow is it's there until it ends, and then it'll be nothing. I don't plan on replacing it on that day. So I guess, yeah, uh, co-op would then move to roaming series. But until it's done, I would want to have it on Thursdays. And, the, and RimWorld, the two series I have going on, I'm hoping that Curse of the Fallen God would end before Starbound Ascension. And then once Starbound Ascension is done, then Attack of the Void would come right afterwards. Uh, for... Thursdays, what would be replacing the sit well, either Pat Power World and No Man's Sky, something in the backlog, no idea what that would be. And Saturday is the Oblivion modded Let's Play to be replaced with Skyrim modded Roleplay. Roaming series still has Block Fortress and Battle Nations, I'm pretty passionate about those, so though that game would also kind of break the mold in that I'd be playing that. Though if I am more inspired to do something else, say Taking it again, Stardew Valley, that would end up taking the place of Block Forces slash Battle Nations in the roaming series and be uploaded every day, and Block Forces slash Battle Nations would be uploaded just primarily on one day. Mini series, I've got the Rimworld Birth of Civilization and Republics Unite. They're not meant to be long series, they're going to be more supercut edits with Birth of the Civilization, probably only going to be maybe one or two episodes that's going to be heavily edited up and we uh, just do a one shot for that i've got sky oblivion and skyrim challenges i'd be kind of interested in doing those and project zomboid in the mini series i'm not quite sure what i would do for that one but i can figure that out in the future then long play, I've got a Minecraft 100 Days Food Factory slash Vanilla Long Play, both those series, since they're going to last for a few episodes, or a few videos, really. Uh, Dragon Age Origins Long Play, going to eventually work on that, as well as StarCraft Long Play. And then I also got the uh, December Dailies 2025 stuff, so it didn't all fit in there, but... Uh, you get the gist, RimWorld 100 Days, PS2 and 3 long plays, and, or, sorry, or, uh, a, se a series of challenge videos. And Power World 100 Days, once the series is done, I kind of have on there just to fill up the space. Last but not least is the December dailies, just as a reminder of what I got on the go, as well as you can see the progress I've made on some of them. So, Rise of Nations and RimWorld Curse of the Fallen God. They both have the episode count that I need for that month. I just need to edit them, and by edit them I need, I mean, stick the intro and outro that I've made for them onto that, and they're good to go. Oh, they're in green because that's not going to take me very long. I can honestly just play some Civilization or another game that I need to just do about a bunch of off-camera stuff on in the background. Anything in yellow, such as Prison Architect, Starcraft Meek, me call recall i either have all the footage all the video done and just need to record some other things or they're part way into being worked on so mass recall um episode eight part sorry not episode eight uh 
the episode for the stand campaign. Some of that is going to be in December, so that's why it's in yellow, and I'm going to soon finish the rest of the campaigns. So that one I figured to be okay in yellow, Minecraft 100 Days, and Long Play. Just really need to edit the 100 Days and get the rest of the footage for that. Long Play is already done, and Prison Architect's half finished. Things in red are stuff that I have not even started on just yet, but will be. Hoping to start them all, start them sometime in, well, four out of five. I'm going to be starting sometime in October, with the exception of Civilization, which is just if I can. Dragon Age 2, I'm going to have that game finished in December. I did mention it earlier, but I'm going to try to finish that off. I don't think Inquisition is going to replace it because I don't really, s I'm not going to be playing the Dreadwolf Rises or whatever it's now called. It doesn't seem feel like it doesn't look like a Dragon Age game, and I wasn't really impressed by it. So, it's gonna end, the series will end with Inquisition, and I'll play that whenever I can get to that. You see, I have two sections in orange. And that's Skyrim: Hundred Days and Star Sector. Both of them, I have, I have worked on them, but they're kind of uh, the. There are little different cases. So Skyrim 100 Days, I don't know if I'll have that done in time because it's a massive effort and I've actually died on an attempt. So I'm restarting, which is always fun. In Star Sector, I still have a lot of background stuff that I'm working on. It's not technically part of December dailies, the December daily footage, but it is work towards that. So that's why it's in orange. And then other series I have the spare time for will be other series I have the spare time for. So, yeah, long, long update, but if you managed to stick it out to the end, my hat's off to you. Thank you very much for doing that and listening to me rant on for almost an hour by the time this is edited down. So that's all for now, folks. And till next time, take it easy.